Teacher's Tips! Hey, this is Steve from the Guitar Store, and today we're going to talk about adding open strings in between chords when we're doing chord changes. What I usually teach from my, my beginning students is simple chord progressions like this. We'll take an E really slowly, then an A. We have plenty of time to change in between. Once they get a little bit better, they start speeding it up. Even faster like this. It can start to sound a little unnatural to change chords so quickly. And sometimes it can be just impossible to change the fingerings that quickly. So what most people do is add open strings in between those fast chord changes. So when you hear this slowly, it's going to sound pretty odd, uh, but this is what I'm talking about. But when you speed it up, your ear will fill in those spaces, those chords. Um, it'll sound natural, and you won't hear those ghost notes. You'll hear more just the chord changes, like this. Nice. Here's another example, really slow. Sounds kind of weird, right? I'll speed it up. So if you'd like to know more about adding open strings to chords or any other type of chord playing, come see me, Stephen Flo, the best guitar teacher at the guitar store. Teacher's Tips! <laughs>